Hello, this is Tanya Cunningham in Madison, Wisconsin with a series of video tutorials on using GIMP for image to track. I'm going to continue with my quick start tutorial uh, to move on to dealing with color images, both converting a color image to a two color image that you can knit with Fair Isle or converting a color image to uh, three to six colors uh, so that you can predictably knit it in color. So I will open an image that's um, a vintage Creative Commons image and uh, again the first thing that I would always do would be to crop if there was you know if I wanted to reduce the size of uh, the part of the image that I was knitting I think I'll just leave this one uncropped but then I would of course scale the image down to uh, 200 stitches wide and I would do this in in both cases zoom in a bit here and um, I then might uh, choose to use the sharpen filter um, but the next thing I would probably do would be to desaturate uh, to reduce this to a grayscale image and you see you've got three choices here lightness, luminosity, and an average I like the luminosity so I would do that um, and then I would go ahead and use my other color tools, levels, uh, curves, or threshold to increase the contrast and uh, then go back to image, mode, indexed and convert it to a one-bit image using uh, either dithering or not. Um, but what I'm going to do now is to show some of the steps I might use to reduce the number of colors here so that you can predictably knit it in a certain number of colors. So I'm going to reduce this to four colors. Um, so I'm first going to go ahead and sharpen it a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is to increase the contrast. I'm going to use levels for that. And um, another tool that I often use is the posterize tool under colors. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go to mode indexed, but rather than uh, create a one bit image with just black and white, I'm going to reduce it to four colors. And I'll show you um, both uh, dithered version and undithered version. So let's say uh, no dithering. And that's four colors. Uh, if you want to see what the four colors are, you can go into Dockable Dialogues and look at the color map. And these are the four colors. You can also use the color map to alter any one of these colors. So let's say you wanted this uh, sort of light green color to be something more in the blue range. And so that just gives you an idea if, uh, to, if you want to match the colors to the colors of yarn that you have, you can do that. Um, but let's back up just a bit here and look at the dithered version. So again we have uh, maximum number of colors four and I'll go to a dithering algorithm here and there it is dithered and again you can go into your color map and alter the colors if you like and I'll just show you also um, what the position to dither looks like and that's just a different effect so here you have something that's 200 stitches wide um, that is four colors exactly and I'm going to export this to my desktop I'll call it four color and I want to export it as a PNG not a JPEG
and then I'm going to select it with image to track. So I will open image to track, uh, set my vertical stretch for one, maximum width to two, colors to four, and select image, and go in and select my PNG image. Now one thing uh, that you'll see when this comes up is that unlike the two color image which came out exactly the same, when you're knitting with more than two colors, every um, pixel or every stitch has to be double height um, due to the technique that you have to use for knitting um, with more than two colors, so you're knitting one color at a time. In any event, that's something that we can discuss more on the forums or I will address uh, in a, a video further down the line. But that is the way to reduce the number of colors so that you can predictably knit with three to six colors using Image Track. Thanks for watching GIMP for Image Track. You can visit me at itmakesyousmile.com. And for more information on Image to Track and your free demo, please visit daviworks.com slash knitting. Bye.